How about new? How about new? How about new? Seriously, you're a fucking ugly little. Welcome to a video on how to get good at the wizard, the only character post BFN's launch, who isn't made entirely of reused assets, and whose kit allows him to effectively be one of the strongest support classes in the entire fucking game. Let's get started. The wizard is a support class, who came over from PvZ2 because he got tired of being neglected, and wanted to do yeah, something more than just funny. bully Welsh people all the time. He boasts the average amount of health at 125. His primary weapon consists of a magic precision stick, that has two forms of attack modes. The primary method, can fire at up to 165 rounds per minute, and fires a singular magic bolt, that has no form of spread, and only slight recoil. So it rewards players who know how to aim their shots, especially since the weapon can deal a surprising amount of damage, with 18 for body shots, and 21.6 for critical hits, so skilled players can easily mow down enemies on their own if they wish. The projectiles fired do have a noticeable amount of drag at long range, but do not arc in the slightest, so if need be, you can act as a marksman, and shot down any stationary target like gatlings or sunbeams with relative ease. The secondary fire, can be used by holding down the fire button for 1.6 seconds. That unleashes a magically floaty bollock. These floaty bollocks travel extremely slowly, bounce off surfaces, and deal 5 damage at a rapid pace to anyone that's in their path. These floaty bollocks can allow you to damage any vegetarian fucker you want, without even having to be in their direct line of sight. They are also great for spamming down tight corridors, choke points, or any objective that is in an enclosed space. Do note however, that each charge shot Shot, consumes 4 ammo, so you will have to reload more often. The magical precision stick comes with 16 shots, before needing to take a quick 1.5 second reload upon depleting all of them, so the weapon has little downtime unless you're spamming the charged shots often. Wizard also has 3 abilities, one of which is extremely game changing, and can turn the tide of the battle, depending on who you are with. The first of these abilities, is the Zelixer, also known as the fuck your bullshit potion. This jar of magical fuckery does all kinds of amazing things. Are you about to take fatal damage? Just throw it on the floor and you'll survive. Are you infected with grody goop? Just chuck this shit on the floor and you're cured. Are you about to get swallowed? Throw this shit into the sky, and follow it. It, for it can save you from a chomper's swallow. Some roses trying to pussy out with Enigma? You can force that elongated whore to come right the fuck out with the push of a single fucking button. The invincibility lasts for only 1.25 seconds, so you will need to think strategically when using this magical bullshit, for not only can it be used on yourself and your allies if you feel like sharing, but it can be also used against enemies. Any enemy hit with this shit will be unable to jump or sprint for 3 entire seconds along with restricting the use of abilities that grunt movement. With a 21 second cooldown, this shit can be used in almost any situation that calls for it, and every fight benefits with a use from this magical bullshit. We then have Spell Disaster, also known as the I can't be fucked to aim move. This shit will make Wizard do a silly little dance before slamming his stick into the floor and summoning 6 balls of death. These balls of death lock onto anyone close by and will chase them down with alarming speed. I mean just look at this nightcap, who has both Speedy and Parker equipped, and she couldn't get away from the ball of death. Each individual ball of death can deal 80 damage, which whilst only enough to kill the aforementioned nightcap, can be a way to either engage or finish fights. Additionally, because the balls of death have an origin spawn of wizard's decaying nutsack, you can use this ability as a last ditch effort to kill chompers burrowing towards you if your potion is on cooldown. Although this is not a reliable strategy, and requires precise timing, once used, the ability will go on an 18 second cooldown. The last, and most important impactful ability that the wizard has, is CoStar. This ability is one of the most powerful in the entire game, not only in its offensive potential, but in also its defensive capabilities. To start, this ability can only be used if you are looking at a teammate that's within close proximity to you, and once you find someone to link up with, you will be transported onto the top of their head. Whilst in this state, you will only have 65 health, so you will be extremely fragile, and you better hope that the idiot you've attached yourself to doesn't just stand still.
If shot off, you will be stunned for one second. So it's best you hook up to someone you know you can trust, as so that you can get the most out of this absolutely bullshit abilities. For starters, you get access to a brand new weapon that starts off initially rather weak. But if you and the person you're attached to look in the same direction, then your weapon becomes significantly stronger and also gains access to homing. Additionally, you also get to see enemies through walls if they are close enough. You can also hop from person to person. So if you think the person you're currently on is about to go to shit, you can just look for the nearest additional person and fuck off to someone who can actually do shit. This is already enough, but we're not fucking done because there are two additional features that come with this already bloated shit. The less interesting one being that the person you're hooked up to gets 25% armor at all times. Whilst not much, it does allow them to sponge a bit more than usual. The other, more batshit insane half is the fact that you can use your abilities whilst in this mode so you can provide the utility of the z elixir and the area damage of spell disaster all whilst riding on a teammate and spelling out several innuendos within that one singular fucking sentence all of this is so fucking bloated that it's actually a great thing that the ability only lasts a maximum of 45 seconds provided you don't have a certain upgrade on but we'll get to that later because of this ability's high power you'll want to hook up with a class that can get the most out of your buffs. One of the strongest combinations is hooking up to a super brains, as the two of you can work together and cover for each other, and if you know how to work together, you can very easily dominate almost any foolish enemy that dare steps in your way. In terms of strengths, the wizard is an extremely strong support class, whose primary weapon can deal a surprisingly high amount of damage, with Z likes her to remove negative effects, and spell disaster to deal with multiple weaker enemies. Coast star can be used to hook up to allies to make them more powerful and potentially steamroll the enemy team. However, outside of Co-Star, the wizard has no form of movement abilities, so he can be killed easily if caught out of position. His Z likes a short duration, does mean that misuse of the ability may be the difference between life and death. Lastly, Co-Star, whilst powerful, can easily be dispatched off if your enemies know where to shoot you. Now in terms of upgrades, wizard has many powerful upgrades at his disposal. However, there are two in particular that I strongly suggest, due to their potency. Elder Alchemist causes the health regeneration delay to be made almost non-existent and allows you to start regenerating health almost instantly upon throwing the potion, making it have even more fucking utility. The other is Two-Headed Dragon. This the upgrade that was hinted at earlier, in that each kill that either you or your partner gets, the duration of Coast RS extended, which can allow it to potentially last the whole entire fucking game of given the chance. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the ultimate support character and can enable your team to actually do their fucking jobs. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.